So today I'm showing my last of my free well filters that they've sent me. And this one is, I think, probably one of the best you, you can get because what it is, it's about the end stops, the ND filters. And what it is, you get two filters. Uh, they're called Hard Stop VND X Mist 2 Pack. Just remember that. I'll show it again just in case you didn't ca quite catch it from me. Um, and what you get it, with the two filters, one is two to five stops and the other one is six to nine stops. It's a diffusion mist strength of a quarter with VND. Opticals, pure definition optical glass, 18 layers, multicolored to ensure filmmaking experience, would you believe? The function, the two to five stop equivalent to an ND4 to an ND32 and the six to nine is equivalent to a 64 to an ND512. So it's your ultimate all day solution, whatever the weather from cloudy to the bright sunny days. And, and that's what it's all about. Um, you can have so many filters, can't you? So many ND filters. But with this one, and if you noticed, I've got it on there. Me, me camera is right on there. You will notice the lines so you can turn it to what you want it to be. What I'm going to do in this video is actually show you my pro settings. Now today, it is a bit cloudy, so it's probably a very good test. I've put on the um, two to five stop, and I'll go through that with you. And then if we've got time, I'll show you the other filter, uh, obviously a slightly darker, but to be honest, it's not, I don't think it's bright enough for that one, but we're gonna concentrate on the first filter. Uh, now the weight of this weighs 1.5 grams, so it does weigh quite a bit. And if you notice there, uh, the camera is slightly dipping, but I've, the drone will cope with it, or the gimbal would cope with it. So what we do, we get the drone ready, uh, and I'll talk you through it. Okay, so everything's ready now. Now, at the moment, on the screen, it's in auto. It's not too dull. I mean, it is a bit dull here, to be honest, because it's cloudy today. But I thought it was a good way of uh, checking out this, these filters. So what we could do first is get the drone up in the air first. Like It's already set its go point. So we just do that now. So it's home point has been set, which is the main thing. Just gonna turn the drone around. I thought this would be a, a good demo really to check out this building because the building's got a bit of color. I'm just gonna send the drone back a little bit. Okay, that, that should do. So at the moment, we've got it on auto. So we're gonna go into the setting at the bottom there. As you can see straight away, it's washed out. So we go into the other settings now, but not that one. <laughs> it's so, right, so if you notice at the bottom, we need to change that a bit as well. Well, we're gonna try, ah, right, ISO, 100, that's for definite. And now we're gonna do the shutter speed. Shutter speed's, I think, still a bit too dark. So we're just bringing it down, and if you notice at the bottom there, that's changing as well. Now, I mean, the other good thing about this, guys, you, obviously you can turn, when you, you know, you have to bring the drone down, obviously, and you can turn uh, the filter to how you want it. I, I've sort of got it mid, midway. Um, obviously, it's too dark now. Lighten up a bit. Let's do it one more. I think that looks all right. I don't think we're going to get it any better than that now. Okay, so that, that that's good. So what I'll do, also, I'll put on the record so you can see it that way. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly the drone towards the, the house, or well, the villa, I should say. And we just... Um, capture that. Now you, you've already, obviously where I set on the house, it's already changed already. 
So I'm just going to stop that again, go back into it. And let's see if we can... It's all, it's all about experimenting. Um, now, apparently that's what it should be on. To me, that looks a bit dark to me. Obviously keeping on the drone as well. And we just do a we do a flyover. Obviously a bit near something there. There it is. Let me just drop that down. Now it's gone really dark now. It, I mean, this is one of the reasons why I'm not very keen on filters. I suppose if you're flying in a straight line, um, yeah, I understand it. But when you're trying to capture something, you're forever um, messing about with the settings. Um, obviously it's gone too dark now. So it's just starting to lighten up a bit now. So that, that's probably about right. Um, yeah. So if you just turn it around. See already it's um because obviously the bright the sun's this the sun's in this direction where I'm facing the drone now. So I can don't forget also because I'm videoing it you won't get me messing about the settings. So that's probably about no. Anyway <laughs> let's just fly it back over. So I've changed over the filter. Hopefully you can see that. I've got the six by nine stop on now. So this is gonna be near up to 500. I think I think personally it's gonna be just a bit too dark for it. Um, and looking at the screen at the moment, it's blacked out right. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tone that down a bit. Okay, so I've got it onto uh, the six now, obviously. Um, we're gonna give it a go and just see uh, if we can alter that, but I think personally it's a bit too dark. So what we're going to do first, we're just going to get the drone off the ground. Uh, let's get it all ready. Take off. Pretty dark. I think it's. I think now we're on a 64 ND, which you know is pretty dark. We're on auto, obviously. Don't forget. I'm just going to send the drone up a bit. Uh, I'm going to face that building because I like the colours on it. And and we'll send it, send it back out a bit. I mean, to be honest, not too bad, I suppose. Sun's just starting to perk for a bit. Right, I'll just put on the video as well so you can see it better on the video. I've got a waspy hanging around me. Right, so we're going to go into the settings now. Um... No, we're not. We're going in to change it to Pro. So you can see it's really gone dark now. We've got it on 100 ISO. Um, and this is where I say about experimenting with the, the settings. It's still too dark. Still too dark. Not even doing nothing on that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to ISO. Bring that up to 
probably a 800 and we'll see if that does anything slightly not a lot but so now we got it on the EV of zero zero I'll just drop that camera down a bit um, I think personally that's just a bit too dark myself might want to give it I mean to be honest this house here that I'm videoing today is one of the most haunted places in Spain so it might be good for a, um, <laughs> a haunted video but anyway to me it looks a bit dark to myself like I said, I, I could have had it up to 512, but he just wouldn't be able to see nothing. Um, let's just send up the drone a minute. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to send it over the villa. Um, and I'm going to turn it around so it's facing the, facing the sun. Obviously, it's, that's going to affect the EV. And we'll just see how much brightness that's letting in. Let's just check where I am. That's all only thing about when you're doing these things. <laughs> I can't see where we are. I should have got the map up, shouldn't I? Let's get the map up. Um, okay. Let's bring that around a bit. Right, so that that's, gives you... A, now I'm going the wrong way. Come on. Come on. So another other tip there really gives you an idea whereabouts you are if you can't see yourself properly on there. Um, so the EV has changed slightly. Um, we'll just see if we can change that. Maybe just dumb it down a little bit. Got low oh low battery. Okay. Confirm. I'm expecting it to. Uh, do that so anyway <laughs> that's the end of that uh, that's my only battery left for the day I didn't realize it was that low didn't think it was that low to be honest but yeah so I hope that's given you some idea of what these filters can do I mean to me I've never been a great love of ND filters because you've got to keep changing the, the darkness and brightness but I think once you get to know it, you will start to know where the 64 is or maybe even lower than that or even up to the 512. Uh, and obviously this is the darker one. Uh, so that means obviously kicks out the use of so many filters, especially this one, especially if you're going on holiday to a place like Spain, but even today it's a bit dull. But also in the video, if you noticed, <laughs> I nearly run out of power. Uh, and guys, it tells you so don't panic it's going to come back like um probably said in a previous couple of previous videos about making sure that you set your return height uh, a quite a high distance and not too low just in case it whacks into that because when it when it's coming back it won't stop guys especially when it's got low battery but anyway hope that's given you some idea sorry it's not one of my best ones on the filters um but this is uh, the last filter I got from Freewell at the moment. Hopefully they'll send me some more. You never know. As always, if you like the vid, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the vid, give it a thumbs down. And I'll catch you on another <laughs> Sean the Drone video. Mm -hmm.